Let's talk a little bit about designing collaboration in your classrooms and having students work in groups while promoting respectful conversations in those groups. Girls are energized by the social part of science, working together and learning together. Providing opportunities for small group work and encouraging girls to talk about their ideas and consider all their possibilities before digging in increases their participation and the fun. Making sure these discussions remain respectful and inclusive is important so that each girl feels their contributions are valued. What happens is that girls are likely to remember not only what they learned, but also how they felt while they learned it. These positive emotions are then tied to their learning of STEM concepts and can increase a girl's self-efficacy and motivation. Things we know are important for helping girls achieve more in their science learning. So how can you do this? Promoting respectful conversations is the first point. Student voice is central to discussion. It's really important for girls to be able to talk about what they understand and how they know things, but it needs to be done in a respectful manner. Paying attention to how each learner participates in your classroom is also important. Watch to see who's using the equipment. Are girls allowed to use the equipment as often as the boys? Pay attention to who's the recorder in each group. Make sure that there are opportunities for boys and girls to participate in different ways when they're working in their small groups. Remind your students again that it's really important to be able to make mistakes and take risks in class. The only way we grow as learners is to be able to understand what we don't know. The book Designing Group Work provides four important steps for us to consider when outlining or preparing to have students work in groups. One is to establish norms for working in a cooperative learning group. Once those norms are, are established, students know how to participate and when to participate. Second is to give every student a role to play and make each role essential for the activity. Third is understanding that your students bring different abilities to the group, to the room and to the activity. Everyone comes with their own strengths. So draw on those multiple abilities in the activities that you ask students to work on. Everyone has something to contribute. Don't let students' abilities in their basic skills define their participation in the group. Consider your English learners as just as capable as anyone else in class to do the hard thinking in a STEM activity. Other things you can do when considering having your students work in groups and having inclusive conversations is to create an environment that is inclusive of all of your students. Make sure everyone feels welcome, that it's okay for everyone to take a risk, that it's okay for everyone to feel dumb sometimes. Keep discussions constructive and positive. As your students are working in small groups, it's recommended that you move around, listen to how the conversations are going, provide feedback and facilitate as needed, and step back when you don't. Encourage participants you see might be sitting quietly to say something to the group. Ask them, what do you think? Provide every student an opportunity to get their voice heard. When girls feel valued in their group work and participate in collaborative activities, they can increase their self-efficacy towards STEM subjects, their motivation and learning today, as well as participation in future STEM activities.